Welcome to Hickory Street Podcast. Uh, I am Michael Zamora, and um, I'm here to do another music review. Um, Clint was supposed to be on the podcast, but uh, he ended up having to cancel because he, he got his second COVID shot and, and it just wasn't um, really responding well. So uh, I'm currently streaming this live on Instagram. Um, this video is going to be posted probably uh, on Friday, so the following Friday. So um, if you're watching it on an Instagram, uh, you'll be able to see it like in real time. It won't be like edited nicely with all the video content, obviously. But um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, there's three bands, uh, th three albums that I chose for this review. Um, two of them are fairly uh, similar. They're at least in the same genre, technically, according to um, according to Wikipedia. But I will say that they sound very different from each other. So, um, the first band that I am going to be talking about is a band called Fontaine's DC. And they are a band from uh, Dublin, Ireland. They were formed in 2017, so they're a fairly new band still. Um, they are a post-punk band and I will say that their post-punk sound pretty much comes from uh, what I would say is like uh, kind of what you would think of like traditional post-punk sound um, they got a lot of influence I was listening to them and they've got a lot of influence as far as uh, I would say um, bands like The Who um, I hear a little bit of The Clash in there um, maybe some gang of four elements so they draw their influence from quite a few different bands but the album in particular that i'm going to be talking about is a an album called droggle um d i'm sorry dog grill i don't know how to say this uh <laughs> it's d-o-g-r-e-l uh dog roll um and the album was released in 2019 it's 11 songs uh it's 30 39 minutes and 53 seconds long and uh this album's very interesting like i was mentioning earlier they uh they draw a lot of influence from bands like the who the clash um i can hear uh you know a little bit of gang and gang of four in there i'm sure there's other stuff that maybe some other people could catch just kind of listening to them but they've got a very diverse sound and the first song i heard from them was a song called boys in the better land and just listening to that song um, and kind of comparing it to the rest of the songs on the album is definitely my favorite. And it definitely has a lot of Who influence. I mean, the guitars are very, like, um, I would say, like, classic rock kind of, uh, you know, drawn out chords you know but the drums are very driving i mean the drummer he sounds like he's mimicking keith moon like very very heavily with you know maybe not as many fills but like it's you know the stylistic you know thing is there so uh it's a cool band check it out fontaine's dc um 
album is called Droggle. Uh, dog, Dogrel. Like, sorry, I, I keep mispronouncing that. This is kind of a weird word. I don't even know what it means. But um, yeah, so Fontaine's DC. Uh, post-punk band from Dublin, Ireland, formed in 2017. So uh, pretty cool. The second band that I'm going to be talking about is a band called Slayford's Mod. Slayford Mods. Um, this is an English post-punk band formed in 2007 in uh, Nottingham. Um, now this band, I wouldn't even classify them as post-punk just based off of the album that I listened to. Um, the album is called, uh, what, what's it called? Austerity Dogs. Um, this album is very interesting. Uh, I, the best thing I can kind of compare it to is like trip hop, but like, uh, like very minimalistic, like 90s like rap hip hop influence it's very interesting my favorite song on the album is called mcflurry um and the best way i can describe like sonically what they sound like is they, they sound a, a lot like wu-tang clan on this album like production wise um the, i would say even like old dirty bastards like uh solo stuff very very interesting um musical components they you can tell that they're using some like actual instruments in the recording too like for the song mcflurry in particular i mean you can tell they're using like an actual bass guitar to record the parts and an actual like hi-hat snare um for some songs i'm pretty sure that they use like some sort of drum machine which is kind of cool um another good song on this album is called donkey uh it's just kind of like a just like talking shit about people <laughs> in their area like out at clubs and shit so it's kind of funny to just listen to um <laughs> oh hey david nice i didn't i didn't realize you knew who they were cool so uh <laughs> yeah slayford mods very cool band um from england and uh the last album is an album called repetition by a band called unwound and uh i did i discovered this band in this album in particular uh well this album i discovered it like maybe three weeks ago maybe two weeks ago and uh if you know me you know i'm a huge post-hardcore fan i, I love post-hardcore like when i first started playing guitar um i was listening to all sorts of bands like quicksand helmet uh um uh jaw box uh you know bands like that and i've periodically found some like lesser known post-hardcore bands throughout the years and i listen to so much music that i can't like recall a lot of them just like right off the top of my head but uh this band unwound is from olympia washington uh they started the band in 1991 and the band disbanded <laughs> in 2002 and I actually discovered this band, I want to say last year, because um, there was another album on their discography that I had already liked, and then I, I couldn't even remember that I had liked it. Um, it's called Fake Train. 
Uh, it was released in 93. This album, Repetition, was released in 96. It's uh, 12 songs, 46 minutes, and 18 seconds long. And uh, I just really love the contrast in this album. They have these very noisy, heavy guitars, uh, but these melodies and the lyrics are very just deep and attention-grabbing, and um, this song has a lot, or I'm sorry, this album has a lot of cool songs on it that I like. Uh, I like the first song, which is called Message Received. Um, it's got this cool, like, static intro, uh, and then it just kind of goes into this, like, driving, um, you know, just noisy feedback guitar sounding stuff. And then the second album, I think, or the second song on this album, and I, and I I'm sorry, the third song on this album, and I think it's my favorite, is called Unauthorized autobiography very cool lyrically and it's got a really sick bass line um it's got a lot of like space in the song so the drums kind of fill it out and uh very cool and then the next song right after that the fourth song on the album lowest common Den denominator uh those are probably my three favorite on this album but um, I highly suggest this one, Repetition, especially if you uh, are a post-hardcore fan like me. Um, but their album Space is, I'm sorry, Fake Train, um, that album is also very good. So uh, I just really like dig this band. So um yeah, these are my music reviews for this podcast episode. So, um, thanks for checking in. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.